What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you a relatively cool tool that I've discovered through a custom theme I saw in the comments section. Cat Pusin, or Cat Pusin, something along those lines, is a collection of themes, or rather a creator of themes, around this color palette here, a nice pastel looking color. Now, one of the projects is Nile Soft Shell, which is actually really cool. It modifies your Windows shell in ways you might not imagine. Obviously, if you have this default context menu here, it's something you can customize, which I didn't think possible previously. To do so, all we need to do is download Nile Soft Shell, which is linked here, and you'll also find a direct link in the description down below. All we need to do is download it, or we can use Winget or Scoop. On Windows 11, you can probably copy paste this into your terminal as such, and it should install it. Otherwise, you can click download on the page and run the installer as you would any other software. Winget should be included with Windows 11, though I'm not entirely sure. Now, after it installs, it'll restart your Windows Explorer, so just make sure to keep a mental note of what you have open in terms of file explorers as they'll all be closed. All right, so a few terminals pop up and vanish, and now it should be installed fully. There we go, successfully installed. If we right click our desktop, we see that we're back to this, but it already looks a little bit different. Things are definitely a bit different here, and that's pretty cool. But let's try customizing it further. So if we hit start, you won't see a Nile Soft configurator of any sort. Instead, we need to shift and right click on our taskbar at the very bottom, which will pull up this shell menu here, and you'll see a new shell icon at the very top. If you right click normally, you won't see it. Shift right click and you get the shell menu here. We have config, manager, and directory. Config opens up the configuration file, which is just a text document. The manager opens up this here for register, unregister, and restart explorer, which is essentially enable or disable the context menu change here. And finally, directory opens up the directory where Nilesoft shell is installed. On the installation page here, you'll also find a get started section where it tells us the basics of the shell. To start using it, we'll need a text editor like notepad, open the shell NSS file, which we've already done here. Now on this page, it tells us to copy in this example here. We already have a dynamic section. So I'll simply scroll down. We have var set images static dynamic. Over here, I'll paste in item title hello world. Then to reload, we need to control right click our desktop and it should look something similar to this where hello world now appears. We've added our first item to the context menu. So control right click to refresh and we see hello world. Cool. Now, obviously, that's just the beginning or scratching the surface of customizing this. It gets a heck of a lot more advanced. There's tons we can learn about the syntax, variable set, static dynamic properties, expressions, functions, and even examples, which is probably where you'll get most of your inspiration. For example, copying the path, we can copy in this here into the dynamic section, and we should get something like this. We can right click and copy to clipboard any part of the path or a file path, a directory, and multiple files. So let's go ahead and try that. We'll copy paste in this section here into our shell NSS dynamic section. So I'll replace the hello world here, for example. Obviously, spacing can be improved. Save, control, right click my desktop, then right click, and we see copy to clipboard. See users tech and desktop or tech n. If we open up a folder, for example, maybe this PC C TCHT Uber Booger, we'll select and right click this file here. Copy to clipboard. We can copy the path to this file. A shortened version version, the folder name, or specific parts of the file. Now, obviously, this is just an example. You can get really advanced with what you do, though, of course, that's up to you. Favorites, we can easily favorite or pin directories or certain programs to our context menu, such as here, adding applications or directories and subfolders. And finally, the last example, go to, simply allows us to quickly navigate to different folder paths on our computer. For example, go to folder followed by one of them here, etc. This might be the most useful one here for me, at least. I'll copy this and replace what I'm not really going to use here. Save it. Control right click my desktop. Now we have go to folder. I can choose maybe Windows, for example. And there we go. There's a Windows file explorer open. Maybe go to control panel, for example. That's pretty useful. Go to settings followed by a specific settings section. I suppose this can replace my current habits of just start R and typing in downloads, for example. 
Anyways, that's the coding slash advanced customization section of this, though really what I'll be using this for is just improving the general look of Windows. I'm interested in skinning. How do we skin this? Well, first of all, glyphs at the very top. We can add glyphs into the shell by using the codes here, for example. There's tons of different icons built into Windows that we can reference when we're adding things to the context menu, but that's really the more advanced section of it. What we'll be doing is installing a theme. For example, the aforementioned cat pussin theme here. So usage, select and download a flavor of your choice, latte, frappe, macchiato, and mocha. I'll download mocha, for example, by control clicking on it and finding one of these that suits me best. There's no preview, which is a little bit annoying, but I'll go for maybe, I don't know, pink. Then I'll click the download button in the far right. I am using a preview of GitHub, so this probably looks a bit different. Let's open this up in a private tab. This is probably what you'll see. There isn't a download button. Instead, click raw and then right click the page, save as to download it instead. Anyways, when the file is downloaded, we need to rename it to shell NSS, hold shift and right click the taskbar, hover over shell, click in directory and move it in. Obviously, if you're customizing shell NSS already, you may want to copy paste in bits of the theme separately instead of just replacing all of it. Further down here, we have some customization tips. Okay, so I'll take this file that we just downloaded, which contains this here, a few steps for the theme. I'll take that useful bit of code that we added as I quite like it, and I'll drop it in here under the same dynamic section. Cool. We need to rename it to shell.nss, so shell.nss, then shift right click our start bar, shell followed by directory, and drop it in here. Then replace, and right clicking our desktop, nothing's changed, control right click, now we can see the new theme in here. So we've got a pink border, and text is now pink as well. Cool, we've now successfully skinned it. But how do we make it blurred, for example? Well, that's one of the things in the FAQ. Change opacity, line 17 under background, to something less than 100. So I'll shift right click my start bar, shell, don't know why there's two, but anyways, config, and under opacity here, hitting control F to search for it, I'll make it maybe 75, save, control right click the desktop, you can now see it slightly see-through, maybe a bit more, 50%, yeah, that looks pretty good, even less, you can see a bit more transparency, and this effect here, I'll uncomment it, not too sure what it did, anyways, there's tons of customization that we can get to. Ultimately, it's a really powerful tool that allows us to control our Windows context menu in ways I haven't seen before. It's actually really cool. It'll take some time to customize it and perfect it, and it's definitely something that's super nerdy. But if this is something you're into, then hey, you can look into it. On top of this, this isn't the default Windows shell. It's still giving me all the functionality of old context menu, which is something that I definitely hate about the new context menu. As you can see, this is huge. Obviously, I don't want half of the things here. But anyways, that's the thing about it. You can customize it in any way you want. It's really powerful. For example, here, three months ago, Nilesoft Shell makes your legacy context menu look modern, but without the usability trade-off, that's really what this is. It's super customizable. As for snippets, I'm not entirely sure. There's probably a Discord or something along those lines. Docs? No, that's not it. Contact? Nope. There's a Reddit, at least a Reddit user. Hmm. Anyways, blog, gradient effect, pretty cool. That's actually pretty sick. Theme section, search for background to place the following code. All right. Theme background color. We don't have set, but we have gradient. So I'll shove that in here. Oh, I need to open this with notepad plus plus or something with tab spacing. Shell directory, shell NSS, right click, develop editors, visual studio code. Hey, look at that. And there we go. It's now open. All right. So pasting in gradient, tabbing it across properly, moving the color, for example. I'll set these manually. Let's try and create something like this, for example. So we have white, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll make it a bit darker, for example, maybe 10, 10, 10 as such, I would think. Think this is opacity, maybe, not entirely sure. Anyways, let's save it, reload by control clicking, and ah, I see, that's not the best. Maybe one, I would assume this is spread or something like that. Nope, that's not it. Must be opacity. Yeah, definitely. So if I make this 0 0.4, but we have hard transitions, Nope, I've just broken it. Nope, wait, comma there. Ah, let's see. Yeah, a bit closer to what I was expecting. Maybe a 499, 799. 
Maybe that's a bit closer. Now we've definitely got hard lines. Can we change the direction and swap them around? As such, we're definitely getting closer. Change these numbers maybe? Ah, we have angle. We have less angle. We are doing things. I don't know what things we're doing, but we're doing things. Ah, we're almost there. Don't quite understand what I'm changing. I don't think it goes above 100. No, it does. Okay, 500. We've now lost the last color. I assume we need to move it in. Nope, that's not it. Other way, something like that. Ah, we got the last color back. We're getting there. I would say that's pretty good. Let's just make the text a bit more readable by changing the colors here. But essentially, you get what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to recreate this here just as an example. And I think I got pretty close. I think making the text a bit darker might help or something along those lines. Anyways, if I understood what's going on here, it's probably very simple. But for the most part, I've recreated this here, which is pretty cool. Ah, OK, well, speaking to Google Bard, asking them what it's about, this is probably documented somewhere. Anyways, opacity, obviously opacity. Effect, we can blur, glow, shadow. Gradient, we can choose to enable it. Linear are the coordinates of the two ends of the gradient. First coordinate is X, second is the Y, then the third and fourth are the X and Y of the endpoints. Stop is the colors and opacities of the gradient stops. The first element of each array is the X coordinate of the stop, second is the color, and the third element is the opacity of the stop. The stops are evenly spaced between the start and end points. Anyways, there's that. Oh, and also there are previews, scrolling cat person here. We have Mocha, Macchiato, Frappe, and Latte. Anyways, now I've searched pretty much everywhere. The best place to go is probably the Reddit, but I've gone through the effort of creating a Discord server, which should be a huge help to Nilesoft. It's currently an unofficial server, but of course, reach out to me and I'll happily give you permissions. So in the description, you'll find a link to the Nilesoft unofficial community, a few links here, as well as a themes channel or themes forum here where you can find different themes. I'll go ahead and post my current one, which is a slightly customized version. I think it looks pretty cool, as well as a snippet section where you can share snippets that functionally do things, etc general chat and the rest standard discord stuff so please do yourself a favor and join that discord i'm sure it will get more lively especially as this community grows there's lots of experimentation to do and fun to have this is a hugely nerdy tool so i can see myself enjoying but anyway thank you all for watching my name's been troubleshoot here's the code just in case you want to copy paste it and i'll see you all next time ciao